Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day or night or whenever you're watching this. Today, I'm taking you through my spiritual morning routine. So starting off nice and simple, we're going to wake up and turn off our alarm. Next thing I do is I check my phone. I keep it on airplane mode, but I do have this app that sends me weirdly, weirdly accurate messages. I feel like they're kind of messages from the universe. I've honestly never even opened this app. I don't know what it does, but I really, really like starting my day with these messages. It just kind of makes me feel more grounded and connected. And then I make my bed because realistically, if I don't, I will stay in my bed and go on Instagram and probably do nothing with the rest of my day. The next step in my morning routine is my favorite part right now, and it's my morning pages. I finally jumped on the 5-minute journal bandwagon. I found it for $5 at the thrift store, and I honestly am obsessed. I use that to bring some gratitude to my mornings, and then when I'm done, I'll put that on my pillow with whatever book I'm reading for my nighttime routine. I basically have rose quartz everywhere in my room. That's a rose quartz, rose quartz, although she's, she's been through some things. Rose quartz in the back there, rose quartz under my silk pillowcase. It should be. Aha. Rose quartz. It is a huge self love crystal, and I sleep with it every night. Once I feel like the main character with my highest self soundtrack, I will have a cup of water and then I will have my vitamins. My daily vitamins are literally just a probiotic and a vitamin B complex. You can get these anywhere. These are just the brands that I use. And then I say hi to my dog because in the morning he's tired enough to let me snuggle him. I have another glass of water and this one I add sea salt to, which is definitely an acquired taste, but I feel really good when I have this. It's good for absorbing minerals into your body and really helps with hydration. If I'm feeling up to it that day, I will get ready for any sort of movement, whether it's yoga, pilates, stretching, anything goes. I honestly just listen to my body and see how she's feeling. At this point, if I'm still feeling tired, because chances are I am, then I will go in with my ice roller just to fully wake myself up and make my skin feel a lot more hydrated and refreshed. Like I said, it really depends on the day and how much movement I want to do, but today I did some meditation, yoga, and then I ended with a little bit of matte pilates just to wake up my core. An essential part in making sure I'm still having a good morning is choosing a cute outfit to put on. This is usually a comfy slash cute outfit like this one and I honestly just feel so much better if I get dressed before I eat because then I can go straight into my day right afterwards. The breakfast that I'm about to show you has been on repeat for I can't even tell you how many months. It is sweet potato toast with avocado and eggs packed with healthy fats, protein, super nourishing and just makes me feel so good. It is also super easy because I prep these sweet potatoes for the week and then I can just pull them out and make my breakfast a lot quicker. My boyfriend ended up coming over while I was filming this, so I made two batches of it. She's not beautiful, but she does the job and it's so freaking yummy. I'm telling you, you have to try this. This is the time that I turn on my phone finally and then I will usually listen to a spiritual or wellness podcast and eat for at least 15 minutes. I'm trying to really go slow with my eating. It's really hard when your food is really good but it's really good for digestion just to sit, breathe, feel it out and enjoy your meal. year I'm really prioritizing cleaning my space that I have a clean mind so I'm washing my dishes right after I'm done eating, putting away things, just general tidy duties, just making sure that everything is nice and clean. Honestly this has made me just feel so much more productive. 
habit that I've recently been doing is taking a walk after I eat breakfast, getting outside, getting fresh air has just helped so much with even my digestion, my mindfulness, and it really helps me clear my mind before I start any tasks. And today I dragged my boyfriend along with me. This is a part of my morning where I'm giving my skin some love and just kind of showing myself that self-care is important. Honestly, I've gotten super into skincare recently and I spent quite a bit of money on K-Beauty products and just kind of finding my perfect skincare routine. So this is what I do in the morning. My nighttime routine is quite different, but I feel like at this point I've kind of perfected my skincare routine. So if you guys want to see a full video on that, please let me know. I would love to do that. Finally, one of the last steps in my morning routine is caffeine. Sometimes it's green tea, but most of the time, I'm not gonna lie, I do have a coffee. I make sure I only have coffee when I've eaten already. I don't have it on an empty stomach. Once my coffee is ready, I will go usually sit on the couch or somewhere cozy, check my Notion, make a to-do list for the day, and that's pretty much it for my morning routine. I change it depending on how my body feels, and honestly, listening to yourself is the most important part of building a morning routine that works for you. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you in my next video.